If you want to light yourself up like a Christmas tree, and I encourage you to start with a half dose, this is lion's mane and chaga plus instant coffee. This will extremely impact your cognitive and mental state. Well, 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 Tim, we'll be the judge of that. Okay, fair question. Well, ever since I heard the podcast episode of The Joe Rogan Show, where he was interviewing, um, I was about to say The Mushroom Man, but Paul Stamets, I think his name is, super interesting guy, and he was on there talking about all the crazy benefits we can get from these obscure mushrooms. And ever since then, I've been really intrigued by the concept. And so, when I heard Tim Ferriss talking about this product right here, this mushroom coffee mix, and how it gave him all of this energy, well, I thought, we've got to try it. Because here's the truth. Although this might seem like a very bizarre video to be making, if you don't have energy, then it doesn't matter how many business strategies you've got, how many self-development tips you hear, you need the energy to actually be able to take action on them. So, in theory, this video actually makes total sense and is completely on brand, and I won't hear any differently. Okay, maybe this is a little bit of a weird video, but I figured I'd test this product out because if it is good, then obviously you want to know about it, and if it's not, it means you don't have to waste your money on it. Okay, so I do like the packaging for this product. It looks pretty cool. The flavor is listed as fruity and medium, so I'm excited to see what medium tastes like. It does have a warning to consult your physician if you're pregnant or lactating, but I think we'll be okay. And then if we open it up here, inside we have got 10 of these sachets that look like that. Just smells of packaging, not really sure what I was expecting there. Okay, so I've kind of failed at the first hurdle here. <laughs> Whilst trying to open the packet but also film it, I have not ripped it in a straight line at all, and that has led to this. But I should point out that is no fault of the product and purely my own incompetence. Now, Tim actually said start with a half portion first of all, but like an absolute rebel, I'm throwing it all in. Cheers. Oh, and remember, stay humble. Okay, well I'm definitely not getting fruity from that, or medium. Um, it definitely tastes a little bit mushroomy. <laughs> See, you just don't get that insight on other channels. But uh, I'd also say it's, yeah, definitely a little bit earthy, but not in an unpleasant way. It's unusual though, it's a very weird taste. No, in all seriousness, once you've actually had a few sips of it, it does seem to get nicer. That first taste, just because it was very unusual, seemed a bit weird, but it's actually reasonably nice. I will say though, I've mixed it with milk and sugar. Just drinking this black on its own would be a very intense taste, I think. Some people might like it, but mixing it with the milk and sugar, it's actually reasonably nice. But at the end of the day, we're not drinking it for the taste. We're drinking it to light ourselves up like a Christmas tree. So, on to the next question. One hour later. Okay, so firstly, I should just say that I'm not affiliated with this product or company in any way, and I make no money whatsoever from if you go and buy it or if you don't. So, how am I actually feeling after drinking it? Well, in truth, I do feel a little bit more positive, slightly more energetic, and I'd go as far as to say slightly more energetic than I do when I just drink normal instant coffee. But before you rush out to buy it, let me just say quite definitively, I do not feel lit up like a Christmas tree. There is no huge difference that I'm just brimming with energy that I don't normally have. There is a slight difference that could partially be placebo. But I do definitely feel something. That's a, what I can say. Honestly, no, I don't think so. I've been watching content from Tim Ferriss for a little while now, and I think he genuinely does recommend products that he himself uses. If you're at all entrepreneurial, you've probably read The 4-Hour Workweek, you might have even heard a couple of his podcasts, and you'll know that he describes himself as a human guinea pig. He tests out lots of different things and supplements and reports back what works well, and similar to what I'm doing with this channel, I guess. But I think the bottom line is that different things affect different people differently. He's just particularly susceptible to this. He even says that himself, that he can only have a certain amount because it affects him so much. So I think it's unfair to go in expecting the same results and expecting a magic bullet that's gonna just massively transform your energy levels. 
But no, I definitely don't think he needs the money that he'd sell himself out to a mushroom coffee mix company. Well, I took a look at some of the other reviews of this product to see what people were saying, and it is extremely mixed. There are some people who say there is no difference whatsoever, they felt no effects at all. There are some on the opposite side of the spectrum that are closer to Tim saying, wow, they really felt quite a big boost from this. But the vast majority were in the middle ground, like myself, who said there was a mild difference that they noticed, but nothing that crazy. So I think if you buy it with the idea that you're just trying something new, a little bit different, to change things up a bit, that's fine, but don't go into it expecting miracles and that it's gonna massively transform your energy levels because you will probably be disappointed. In my defense though, I did check a few of the other reviews for this product and none of those other reviewers had worn a blazer for the review, so at least I'm taking this seriously. You know, if you're gonna review mushroom coffee, at least dress for the occasion. Well, there are a few studies that show having a couple of cups of coffee per day is totally fine and there may even be some health benefits attached to it. But I think the real answer is that it comes down to moderation, right? Which is a super boring answer and a bit cliche, but it's cliche because it's true. And that is that if you're becoming dependent on something and coffee is an essential part of your day just to get through it, well, obviously in that case, you probably need to look at the fundamentals to get natural energy, like sleeping the right amount and eating a healthier diet, all that stuff, which we know is gonna give us more energy and make us feel better. But if you're just having a couple of cups of coffee, then it's probably fine. So maybe you do wanna mix it up with some mushroom coffee. Let me know if you decide to go ahead and try it, because I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on it as well. But yeah, hopefully that review was helpful. I've now got something even better for you, which is this video right here that I think you're gonna like. And if you don't like the look of it, what about this video? Take your pick, I'll hopefully see you there, and I'll also see you very soon for more daily videos on this channel covering everything you need to know about being successful in life, whether that's in terms of business or self-development. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell. I'll see you soon. Cheers.